Hey friends, today we are taking a little bit of a field trip to our friends over here at Panoramic Farms in Monroe, North Carolina. Oh my goodness. We, if you've watched our weekly nursery tours, you probably saw last week that I went on and on about our delivery from our friends at Panoramic. And so here we are actually at Panoramic because you know that we love showing other um, growers, other productions because each nursery is so unique unto itself and panoramic is just they're amazing that's just all we're going to say about that is they really specialize in shrubs and perennials they um, do not sell directly to the customer but if you are a retail garden center and you are looking for some stock then panoramic is your um, is a great option for you also they sell directly to like landscapers and those kinds of folks and even wholesalers so Basically, if you're on the East Coast, give Panoramic a call because they are probably going to be able to help you out. We're just going to have fun kind of walking through because I want to show you what this gorgeous farm nursery is all about. It is state of the art and it is a gorgeous piece of property. The reason, the one of the reasons that we are here is that tomorrow they're going to be actually hosting a Proven Winners Landscape Roadshow. So Jerry and I thought, hey, we'll just come on over. It's only like an hour from the house. And we said we're going to come even earlier and do a fun tour and get to see the place. So Basically, we're just going to go through and show you all of um, some of the things, not all of the things. It's, we would be here for a long time. And then I think Jerry's going to throw up the drone at the end to give you an aerial view of this beautiful piece of property. First of all, we are in the middle of nowhere, but it is a beautiful piece of no, middle of nowhere and um, just gorgeous plants everywhere. Of course, like they, everybody else in North Carolina, we are transitioning and dealing with the weather turning and because we're going to have a couple of freezing nights and so they are preparing for that as well basically there is 22 acres of outdoor growing space you see they have these beautiful nice really manicured shrub lots right here where this is where they're growing um the vast majority is they're gonna be their shrubs right so 22 acres of outdoor growing space. And then over my right shoulder, we're gonna go in there in a little bit, there is 80,000 square foot of covered space. Not technically a greenhouse as far as that it's not a heated space. It is more of a cold frame. The sides go up and down. So they use it for like sun protection in the summertime. And then of course, to keep the frost off of those tender plants this time of year. Right here, we have a massive block of distillium. You know how much we love distillium. It is a wonderful shrub, evergreen shrub, super easy to take care of, and it's just a great performer. So this is Cinnamon Girl is right here, and then the whole block down there was Vintage Jade. So as um, Matt, who is our wonderful tour guide today, was telling us is that Panoramic, they don't have, they have variety, don't get me wrong, but they have really, great quality and huge numbers of the products that they carry, which is kind of important for us, like a garden center, um, we were talking about, so let's say we order in that order that we got from Panoramic last week, that we ordered a bunch of Cinnamon Girl and we sold out. And then we have a customer that comes back and says, well, I need some more Cinnamon Girl. Well, we can call Panoramic and they've got tons of this Cinnamon Girl, they all essentially are the exact same size and look the same. So then the customer gets and can easily add to their landscape and have beautiful, healthy stock that is the same size that they already have. So that's so important. Um, and it's just beautifully done. Now, this you might be looking at and you're like, what in the world is going on with this? Why do they have buckets of gravel? It's actually really a genius idea. So Talking about the frost, right? Because you can be 80 degrees yesterday, I think it was for us, and then we can go down to like 29 a couple days later. You wanna cover these plants because they do have tender new growth, and we are in the business of providing beautiful plants to our customers. So here is the frost protection blanket, right? We have this at the nursery. And so what they have done is they have laid it out nice and flat, then underneath here are more buckets of the gravel, so it holds it down. They've rolled it up nice and neat, and then what they'll do is take these buckets off and have a team, and they'll unroll the frost protection blanket, 
cover all the shrubs and then on the other side there's more buckets and they will cinch down the frost protection blanket so that it does not blow off because so many times the cold air comes in and that also means wind and then you've got blankets you know blowing in the wind everywhere so simple yet genius thinking on that and uh, as Matt was saying normally here at Panoramic because I'm going to tell you before we ever were customers and friends of Panoramic Panoramic has a reputation of being the cleanest, neatest, um, prettiest nursery out there, and rightly so. But so Matt was saying, here at Panoramic, you would not see bare uh, soil between the gravel. Well, that's because they just use the gravel to fill up the pots at the end of the season, as far as like when the cold is done, then they'll take the pots, put it back on the, on the road, get it nice and smooth, and be quite happy with that. So that was a, a fun little side note. Now you'll notice that there is a gorgeous pond over here on the left with all sorts of beautiful bald cypress trees. There were, there's geese out there, there's ducks. I saw turtles, all sorts of fun things. This is actually the pond, a spring fed pond that they will irrigate all of the crops with. So if you see the little building over our shoulder, that is the pump house. There will actually be somewhere out there is a a little dock that floats out and it has the pump in the center 30 30 feet 38 30 30 to 38 feet matt's giving me the nod so deep 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 and so they are able to irrigate all of their crops from this there's also multiple other ponds that are on the property that will catch any runoff so any kind of irrigation, it runs off and it collects in those ponds. So it's not going into the streams. Um, very, very environmentally friendly around here. Super cool. Not only is it functional, but it's gorgeous. It is a beautiful piece of property. Now, talking about beautiful, behind us, over here in this beautiful green field, this is gonna be their expansion. So they have a master plan over the uh, end goal, right? Where they are gonna have more outdoor space, but then they're also gonna have lots of beautiful gutter connected greenhouses over time that will be out there. Brian, who uh, is kind of the overseer of all the projects right now. So it's gonna be concrete, it's gonna be heated floors, it will be gutter connected uh, houses, which is just fantastic. So Panoramic has some big plans on uh, growing and expanding. Cannot wait to see all the fun things that they have to offer. But we're gonna hop back in the truck and we're gonna keep on going on a tour. And then when we find something fun like that, all the covered space, we'll show you what's going on over there too. All right, do you notice, can you recognize this plant? Do you know what it is? It's one of our most beloved plants at Creekside Nursery. We sell the hound out of this thing. We cannot keep it in stock. Yes, the sunshine ligustrum, absolutely. We love this evergreen shrub. I tell people all the time, you would think that it's not an evergreen because of the way how soft and tender and just, it's just a really soft plant, but it is uh, an evergreen and it is sunshine ligustrum. Of course, it gets its name because it does love the sun. Sun to kind of part shade, it will do, the more sun you get, the brighter yellow it is. These are, uh, were planted up this past fall they will be ready late summer yeah probably late summer um this is a three gallon pot right so all of their most of their i think retail that they sell out is in a three gallon probably started as a one gallon and got moved up so this is what the babies look like but come down here because this is what creekside got last week and again Having that consistency of these gorgeous plants is, look at these. Look at these massive, beautiful sunshine ligustrums. Oh my dear heavens, is that not a gorgeous plant right there? Absolutely fantastic. Now they do grow these um, in this covered space because this time of year they can open and close the sides really don't have to close the sides until it gets down to about the mid 20s uh, <laughs> as matt said when we had the arctic blast that came through at christmas and it got nine degrees they closed it it's not heated but it, by, by just closing it you get that radiant heat from the sun and it protects them absolutely gorgeous we talk about sunshine ligustrums the more shade it is then the more green 
but as you work out and it gets that beautiful um, sunlight in it, then they turn that really beautiful, vibrant yellow fantastic this is going to be more for the southern um, climates as we always talk about from our southern living friends it is zone six to ten so even my friends who are in the zone six you can have these sunshine ligustrums love these they are just this is like the perfect plant right here they have got they're growing um just perfect on these sunshine ligustrums so fun and i think we've got eucharas down to the right. So we're gonna move on down there and see what other fun things we have to see. All right, so fun story. So we're driving along, right? Sunshine Ligustrums are just behind Jerry, driving along and I was like, oh, those gorgeous ferns, those are the ones we just got. And Matt was like, mm, not exactly. So here we have beautiful, right? Autumn ferns, gorgeous plant, yes? But as Matt says, this is um, the panoramic difference. These are not quite ready yet because there's better ones over here that need to be sold first. So here we have this beautiful, huge section of Alden ferns, but those aren't ready yet. First, you have to come over here. These are where ours actually came from and just massive. I mean, people would, sell their firstborn child for these things. My goodness, I mean, they are gorgeous, huge, beautiful ferns. And so they've got um, different crops, right? So there may be three, four, five different levels of crops um, on ages, right? So you have to, obviously you wanna start with the best and then you work your way down. Beautiful ostrich ferns, we got these as well. Love seeing those, they're in here. They were testing. The Crested Surf from Proven Winners, that was a winner. So more of those are coming in. These were just the ones from last year, but look at that. We love the Crested Surf because it's really fun. It has, these are not quite showing because they're just kind of unfurling, but maybe just a little bit right here. You can see on the tips, how they have that fun little frilly edge on them. So Japanese painted fern, um, we get to about 20 to 22 inches tall, but that crested surf has a really fun little tip on it right there. So those are doing well. And then we're gonna whip around um, coming in here. And you will also probably notice that everything is nice and neat and organized and in beautiful straight rows. Probably hard to see on the camera, but down on the floor, there are strings that are running. So when the folks are putting the plants out, they don't have to look and see if they're straight. They just follow the strings. So here we have little baby Nandinas that are gonna get potted up. So this is kind of like what we were talking about with the Sunshine Ligustrums, right? So little baby Nandina, then this will go into a three gallon. So it kind of gives you an idea of, um, just the whole process of how plants come in and how they get potted up and moved along. Down here, we've got so many gorgeous, there's hostas down here, there's euchras. Let's go down this way. It's like a kid in a candy store around here. That's all I've got to say. We just passed the fields of camellias, beautiful camellias, 15 gallons, just stunning. Look. I'm gonna think, I'll have to look, our caramel, caramel, however you wanna say it. This is what, so on each pot, um, it is printed, yes. So these are the ones that we got, look at that. Is that not stunning? Just absolutely beautiful. And you can see all the different colors in here. So we've got those, let's see who this is. Um, and then once the plants get ready to go out for, Oh my gosh, I cannot read this, y'all. Obsidian? Yes. yes. Look at that. Beautiful, nice, dark, really pretty, deep, deep, deep purple. Um, once the plants go out to their customers, then that is where they get tagged. Here's our Georgia peaches. Look at that. Don't you love the color on that? Just magnificent. The new foliage popping out right here. It's just beautiful. And then of course the hellebores. Look at all the hellebores. More, so many colors. Let's see who this is. I don't know. Oh, citronelle. Look at that. So pretty. I'm telling you, look at that. You could just put all those together like that. So pretty. Okay, 
here we go. So uh, Linton Roses in here, more Dandinas, more beautiful ferns, and they've got some hydrangeas going on, hostas galore, you name it, they have it. So much fun. All right, we're gonna see what we can get into next. All right, so you learn something new every day. I just, I, we say that all the time. I did not realize that Panoramic is home to Radiance Abelia and Kaleidoscope Abelia. Here I have Kaleidoscope Abelia. Those two, fantastic. we love these plants. Like we talk about them all the time. They were born, bred right here at Panoramic Farms. And so they, these, they're home. These are their little sweet little babies. So everything that you see from me all the way down, this block and the next block are the Kaleidoscope Abelias. Y'all, that's a lot of kaleidoscope abelias. And they, they're in different crops, right? So they're, they're, these will be ready um, once they get a flush on in the spring, and then they'll be ready to go. We're talking about the frost protection blanket, this is what it looks like when those blankets are out. And you can see how just uh, what a great job they do. All these buckets are on here. It doesn't matter really kind of what kind of wind is gonna come through. If we get any wind, it's not gonna go anywhere. So all of these are uh, kaleidoscopes, and then that whole block down there are radiance. So <laughs> many abelias. All right, so just to reiterate the fact of like the standards that Panoramic has, we were actually slated to get some kaleidoscope abelias on our order last week, and Matt saw some problems that he was not fully confident in and wanted to send them to us. So he was like, eh, nope, you're not gonna get these. As he told Jerry, he said, I didn't ask if you wanted. He said, I told you, you weren't gonna get them because they were not up to our standards. Then once they flush out and they're nice and happy and healthy, then of course we can obviously order them again. But I do wanna show you, we're gonna pivot here for a second and change subjects. So down here is another one of their runoff ponds. We talked about how all their irrigation, all the water from the nursery runs into these runoff ponds. And um, just the, the awareness and the responsibility and being such a great steward of the land, you would not think that this was a runoff pond from a nursery. Look how incredibly beautiful it is. Beautiful grass, you've got all these bald cypress. Can you see all the geese that are down in there? Just a beautiful way to respect and honor the land here at Panoramic. Just absolutely fun. Um, I mean, you need to have like a little canoe out there and just go have a little picnic. How romantic would that be? Just be absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so the wildlife out here is, is just fantastic. We have seen so many birds, turtles, uh, of course the geese, lots of fun. Just a beautiful piece of property for sure. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up, but I wanna take you in and show you as far as like how they pot up because it is just a whole nother next level. Uh, but it's interesting, we are talking with Brian, a lot of the same issues that we have they have as well. So it doesn't really um, matter too much on like the size of your operation. We all run into the same problems. So I want to show you that because it's really fun and exciting. And I know my personal son, Jackson, is going to be really excited to see some of the things that they have in there. All right. So here we are inside their um, fantastic facility. And you will see they have their potting machine right here. So this will do everything from a three gallon and below. Obviously, it was like 5.30 in the afternoon, so they are shut down for the day, and they actually turned the lights on for us so we could come in here and see everything. But basically, it's going to be um, roughly the same, right? So you're going to feed the pots in, somebody standing down there. You've got the trays and the pots. You feed them in. They go through, and then, of course, they, then they get the soil. What's really, well, there's a lot of fun things here, obviously, but if you will notice above the conveyor belts, this is how they get the soil into this building. Way outside, they have these massive bays of their soil medium, and they will use basically like a, a skid steer with this huge, what was it, a two and a half yard bucket, I think it was? Huge two and a half yard bucket. They dump it into a hopper. It goes through the conveyor belt systems. 
They do have an area where if they need to add slow release fertilizers or they need to add, you know, micronutrients, those kinds of things will get mixed in depending on what the crop is. So it comes across this conveyor system, hits it, and then drops down from the chute. How awesome is that? This is what our Jackson at home was actually talking about, that we needed a conveyor system that we could pump our soil in to the potting machine. You'll notice that the um, conveyor belt does go across and then it just like drops out into the open. That is when they do seven gallon or higher, like they're 15 gallons. They do limelight uh, hydrangea trees, the standards. So that will just dump on the ground and then they have, you know, manually have to do that because that would be a massive potting machine to do a 15 gallon um, pot. But it goes through here. Of course, here they have the brains. Everything's nice and locked up comes through and then at this point right so you've got different conveyors if you want to connect things or move things in different directions comes through um, at this point was really neat so they have they had the little blowers on there to get rid of the excess soil comes through each of their pots has a stamp with a barcode like um bark well like the, the lot numbers, the plant name, all of that. So that is what this whole little system does and it stamps each individual pot in case like what we were doing outside, right? So we're looking at it and trying to figure out, okay, what is this? Oh, this is citronelle. Well, the name's on there. And then it comes through, as you can see, the wet area. These are the water misters. So everybody gets a nice good drink of water before it goes out and then goes out onto the tables. They will use the forklifts to pick them up put them onto the um, the wagons and then at this point then they've got all the little tractors that will take all of whether it is the one gallon perennials or it's a three gallon whatever it may be take them to their uh, next growing zone and there they go they can grow and be very happy until they either come home to us or they get moved up to another size pot um, so much fun. We could probably spend days here looking at all the beautiful things that they have. But uh, yeah, time is ticking and the sun is going down and we want Jerry to hurry up and get the drone up in the air because I can't wait for you to see this gorgeous piece of property. A huge, massive thank you to all of the wonderful folks here at Panoramic for um, letting us come in and see all the inner workings and sharing with us and letting you come experience this beautiful nursery here in North Carolina. We're going to spend all day with them again tomorrow at the Landscape Roadshow. Lots of fun, but as always, thanks so much for gardening with Creekside. Y'all have a fantastic day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.